Hi guys! Today we're going to be looking at some weird and wacky plugins that you probably don't need. Before we start, I just want to make it clear what I mean by weird and wacky. I don't mean that the sounds produced by these plugins are weird. Instead, these are all plugins that for one reason or another, you are very unlikely to use to actually make music. In fact, some of them don't even make any sound or affect the sound going through the plugin itself. You could, of course, use some of them for their sonic qualities if you really want to, but these are plugins that are primarily fun, interesting, or just outright bizarre. Unless you've been following the audio plugin scene for a few decades, there's almost certainly going to be a few that you don't know, and probably also the odd familiar face. So without further ado, let's move on to the first plugin, which should also give you a great idea of what I mean about the plugins on this list not being particularly musical, but still good fun. Number, Number one, one, DJ, DJ Frog. Frog. Have you ever wondered how your track would sound in a club environment? With a frog DJ being on the decks? Well, wonder no more. DJ Frog is a virtual animated frog DJ in a club setting with additional sound effects and tons of reverb for that true club experience. The plugin responds to play and stop. While your track isn't playing, you get some ambient sound. Once you start playing the track, DJ Frog starts DJing the track. As well as a ton of reverb, the plugin also adds crowd noise, vocal shouts, volume chops on the mixer, and so on. So DJ Frog is more of a traditional DJ than a press space bomb modern DJ. There's also a well-hidden gain slider in case you want to recreate the true DJ experience of clipping the signal to smithereens. But you can turn down the mix level if you just want the visuals without reverb, etc. So if you don't like the things he does to the track, you can always go for a more realistic modern DJ experience. Unfortunately, the window is pretty small due to this being an ancient 32-bit plugin. It also seems to add a DC offset, which is why I've added a wave shaper to remove it. Number 2. Delay Llama This is almost certainly the best known of the plugins in this list. It features a singing monk. It's great fun, at least for a few minutes, and anyone can use it in seconds, even kids. You can change the pitch and vowel or formant of the monk's voice, as well as dial in some delay and change the portamento time and voice. There's obviously limited musicality, though it has been used in tracks, but you can program notes in the piano roll should you want to. Number 3. Meow, Meow synth. synth Somewhat similar to Delay Llama in that it's an actual instrument with cute graphics, this time it's a cat that meows whenever you play a note. It sounds pretty terrible, but then so do cats wailing, so I guess it's pretty realistic. It's theoretically musical, but extremely limited. Don't worry, I'll let you listen to a track with Meow Synth in a second. Number 4. Fruity Dance This is another visual plugin that is only available in FL Studio, not as a VST. Unlike DJ Frog, this one doesn't have any sound whatsoever. She won't start dancing until you play back the track. You can choose between a specific dance move or set it to freestyle, as well as set the speed of the animations. It's utterly pointless, but kind of goofy. It's often cited as definitive proof that FL Studio is a dumb toy for weebs rather than a serious production tool. I'm not sure you can argue with flawless logic like that. You can customize the sprite sheet to create your own animations, which I have done. It's absolutely overpowered when used together with Meowsyn. Number, 
Number five, oblique. This plugin doesn't make any sound, nor does it react to any sound. It's based on Brian Eno's card decks that are meant to provide inspiration as you work on a track. Kids might know Brian Eno from such hits as the Windows sound. But he's got a pretty impressive back catalogue you might want to check out if you've no idea who he is. Click on the three question marks to pick a new random card. There's a couple of decks included with the VST. You can also create and load your own decks. Number six, Anechoic Room Simulator. This is an April Fool's plugin that simulates an anechoic room. If you don't know what that is, there's more information on Wikipedia. There are also videos on YouTube of people talking or playing instruments in anechoic chambers, so you can see what it sounds like for real. I don't want to spoil this joke by explaining it, but I'll give you a quick A-B comparison on my track so you can hear how transparent it is. That music sounds like a walk in the park now. Any fucker can do it. And quite frankly, every fucker is doing it. Number seven, Vibrator. This is an absolutely bizarre plugin concept, even in the context of the other plugins I've mentioned. This plugin generates force feedback, similar to in video games, that is sent to your controllers, hence the name. Unfortunately, the plugin no longer works without complications. It requires DirectX 8 to work, and you'll need a force feedback controller that is compatible. It also won't load in newer versions of FL Studio. So unfortunately, I can't get Vibrator to load up, so I won't be able to insert it or play with it, I'm afraid. Oh. Number eight, Happy, Happy Placer. Placer. This is another April Fool's plugin. This one comes with a whole load of dumb jokes about various types of musicians. It also has jokes about drummers. Most importantly, you can export jokes to share as memes on social media. Thank you, Web 2.0. And, and now, now the, the big, big reveal. reveal. You know how this video says you won't believe number nine? Well, here it comes. Number nine, Happy Placer 2. This is essentially the same plugin with a reskin and an expanded num musician category with DJs alongside drummers. Mind blown! Nothing says the unexpected like a reskin marketed as a new version. Number 10, Crap Synth. The name says it all, really. This plugin was a reaction to the over proliferation of bad synth edit plugins from about 15 or 20 years ago that all sounded identical and looked like trash. It's got a hideous UI. It's also got a hilarious UI. It does make sound, and you probably could use it sparingly, but musicality is really not its strong point. So there we have it. 10 plugins that are pretty much useless for producing music. If you think they're just what you need, I've left links to the ones I could still find download links for in the description below. But before we end this video, I'd like to add one more honourable mention in the form of Freak Show Industries. The Freak Show Industry plugins are a special case. Unlike all the previous entries, these plugins are not officially free, with prices ranging from $20 to $50. However, you can click on the steal button instead of the buy button and download the plugins for free if you are amoral scum. I'm not, so I haven't got them installed, but I'd recommend that you at least check out the website as it's quite hilarious and the product descriptions are great. There's also a few videos there if you want to find out more. It's art and satire rolled into one. I won't spoil the fun for you, 
but the link to the website is in the video's description. So I hope you've enjoyed this trip through this motley crew of curios. If I've overlooked your favorite Pizarro plugin, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.